Hello, uh, I thought I'd show you a short screen recording as to why you may you should consider using a Google Plus collections if you use Google Plus. So uh, I'll navigate to uh, Google Plus. Boop, boop. <coughs> Again, you see the landing experience for Google Plus is uh, promoted collections. So it's, uh, one reason why uh, you should use collections. Obviously, your, your, um, your content can't get featured in this way unless you're uh, adding it to collections. So uh, that's one reason. Um, I run various pages. One of them is uh, the Forge Europe page. And if you ser uh, do a search, for example, for Ford, you see that uh, um, some of the collections here, like the Heritage Collection, uh, which is a collection un under the Ford uh, Europe page, it is featured, and the Technology Collection uh, is also featured. So that's uh, uh, two uh, collections which are the top results for that Ford Europe page. If you then uh, narrow the uh, uh, search term down to, to uh, a model, for example. You see here that uh, uh, all four of the collections that are, are listed in the uh, top four slots are uh, collections from the Ford Europe page. So uh, this, this is really advantageous. It's great uh, exposure for uh, your content uh, uh, if you're adding it to collections. I've done another search for Fiesta, which is another model for, for Ford, and here you'll see that uh, three of the top uh, uh, four slots are collections under Ford Europe, and one of them is actually uh, my personal collection, which is uh, posts related to work. Uh, so. I work for Ford in Social, so uh, that's another collection that uh, uh, returns for the search term. Another example would be for, I run a hobby page, which is called Happening London. So if I do a search, uh, a search for London, then you'll see that uh, uh, this collection here out and about in London uh, collection is uh, from that Happening London page and uh, this other collection here at the end is from also from the Happening London page. Clicking on the more uh, button obviously gives you more more collections that return for that search term and here there's, uh, you have those two but there's also Animated London which is from the Happening London page London Architecture, which is from the Happening London page, and so on. Uh, to do in London, London people. So essentially, you'll get, uh, you can get a lot of exposure for your content by adding uh, your content to uh, various collections. It's a great way to uh, um, allow people to uh, uh, get the type of content from you that they wish and not including their stream uh, content that they don't wish. For example, uh, I can't remember what it was, Ford, uh, was it Ford Fiesta? Yeah. My uh, work collection is obviously lots of posts about uh, Ford, uh, but my other collections, my other public collections, uh, are around things like social media, uh, and various other uh, collections. So sort your content into uh, different collections and it uh, can be a great way to uh, give that uh, content increased exposure across uh, Google+. So um, I hope that's helpful. If you have any uh, uh, questions, uh, related to collections, then I'll, I've done a couple of articles which I'll include in uh, uh, 
links up in the top right hand here of the, uh, the video which you can click to see now. Uh, if you have any questions then you can comment on the, uh, uh, the video or you can leave comments on any of the articles that I've included links to. Thanks, I hope that helps. Bye.